on the road to the museum, Philadelphia Art Museum. It's just amazing seeing all these buildings around here. These are the neighbors of the Art Museum on the west side of Philadelphia. And there, in the distance, you can see the fountains, and that's where the museum is. Here in Love Park, we're just one step closer to the museum. You can see the museum from here. It's a perfect vantage point to take pictures of the love sign from Love Park and the museum. They did this on purpose because it's such a picturesque view of the museum from here. You can see all the way in the distance is the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Past where the fountain and the water is rising up is the museum. But on both sides, on the way to the museum, are the most amazing, incredible architectural buildings in Philadelphia. Here is a still closer view of the museum. From art museum, from reservoir to art museum, the hill was called Fairmount. Once held as a reservoir that fed the Schuylkill River, the water down through the hollow logs to Philadelphia homes and hydrants, but years of pollutions from coal mines dairy farms and towns upstream made the water undrinkable. So uh, the city closed the reservoir, which was here, in 1909. And uh, meanwhile, art lovers had been seeking a new home for the Pennsylvania Museum, which had opened in Memorial Hall for the Centennial Exposition of 1876. And by the early 1890s, the building had become outmoded and overcrowded and it was also too far downtown. Well, the old reservoir site, that's what you're seeing here, caught the eye of the uh, people who were figuring out where to put the new collection. And in, eight, and in 1911, a team of architects, including several who had submitted proposals for the design of the parkway, that's the parkway from City Hall all the way here, um, began plans for an art museum. The parkway, Benjamin Franklin Parkway, opened in 1918. The Philadelphia Museum of Art, that's what you're seeing here, that opened in 1928. The new museum made a perfect endpoint for the Grand Boulevard. Now, you might ask, well, who was the first museum director? Well, that was Fisk Kimball. You know, he was just 20, just 36 when he was hired, but Fisk Kimball supervised the completion of the museum and inspired by other museums, he acquired period rooms from around the world, including lavish interiors from England, France, and the United States. Kimball implemented programs and policies that made the museum accessible and enjoyable for the general public. And he also convinced the patrons to donate money and to donate their art collections even after the 1929 stock market crash, Kimball led the Museum of Art until 1955. It's just amazing when you see that. You can just see here the beautiful museum that they had. And just don't forget, this was a reservoir that they had here. Thank you. 